I'm Dr. Walter Rose. I'm a family physician from Indianola, Mississippi, which is the headquarters of this particular uh, group that's here in Honduras at this time. This is the only medical treatment that these people in these rural communities will have is what is brought in from the states. Through the years, I think we've seen a lot of different things as we've come through this is certainly a haven for a lot of infectious diseases such as polio diphtheria a lot of the infectious diseases such as measles chicken pox which are rampant but our primary uh, thing that we see is severe anemia protein deficiency and uh, parasites Someone asked us why we keep coming back to Honduras, and I guess it's because the people here are so appreciative of what we do. And it's a real pleasure to come back every year and, and to work with these people and, and to have them so appreciative of what we're trying to do. These two children show some of the typical problems that we see among the children down here. They're very dirty. They have poor nutrition. And uh, this child has scabies causing a rash. It also has a distended belly here. This is from the uh, parasites or worms that the children have. These worms can grow quite large, probably about the size of a pencil, and they can cause GI distress and uh, other problems. This is an open sewer directly in front of the clinic. There were no sewer lines in town and very few outhouses. It is what we would call a cesspool. This is a little girl we saw yesterday. She was 45 days old. She's not doing very well, not eating. Um, the baby's born with a cleft lip and palate. She's having a lot of stuff regurgitating through her nose. Mom brings her back today again. What we plan on doing is giving her some vitamins and some fluid. Let's see if we can rehydrate her. Overall, a very grim prognosis. These people had walked nearly five hours from up in the mountains to reach the clinic. This is intensive care. Pigs run loose in the street. They serve a very useful purpose. They clean up after the people. Then the people consume the pigs. This is a little girl who has a cleft palate and lip. It's been present since birth. Um, she says that she's able to eat well. Usually children like this have a lot of trouble swallowing because the food that they swallow goes up and can come out through their nose. And a lot of times it'll go down into their lungs and cause pneumonia. Apparently she's done very well. Looks fairly healthy, except for this lip. The only way to fix something like this is surgically. This is how dust from passing traffic is controlled. They seem to be unaware of the fact that this can spread disease. I'm King Bell, a dentist here at Los Troyes. I'm with the mission group. We came here. The need is great here. They don't have dentists here. And uh, we will take out something like 800 or 1,000 teeth in about three and a half days. I've got a, our dental team working with me. We have two dentists, Dr. James Strickland from Florida and myself from Inverness, Mississippi. We have a number of people helping us, young men and women as translators, and the young men are washing the instruments and handing instruments. And um, many of these young men or help taking out teeth. I did in the tooth and some of the teeth are rather easy to get out 
and they had taken them out. And um, our main purpose here is winning souls for Christ. But we use our dental methods and techniques to help these people. They de they in desperate need. They don't have any dentists here. It's been my pleasure to come five years to Honduras to do this. And I know the people appreciate it. And we've had something like 200 and something souls saved yesterday. And it's a great harvest for the Lord. I hope we can keep coming back. The people need us to come. Thank you. This is Maria Ortez de Rivera. Yes, ma'am. Hey. And she's a 45-year-old lady who came to see us today because of some arthritis and some pain in her ear and some trouble. But she's had a problem that's real interesting. We'll show y'all. She had surgery six years ago for a tumor that she said was in her belly. And about two years after surgery, her belly started looking like this. It's been like this for the past four years. It, to the side a bit. See? And this big thing causes her a lot of pain, especially when she coughs. A lot of back pain because of the extra weight she carries around. And just looking at it and examining this thing, it's probably a hernia from her old incision. And the only way to treat something like this is surgically, to go in and close it. Interestingly, she didn't even come to us for this problem. A prognosis for a hernia without treatment is that something like this will not go away without surgery simply because these are the abdominal intestines that are protruding here. And to fix it, one would have to go in and close the muscles that keep all the intestines inside. If you ever make a trip to Honduras, and after you endure that bus ride, uh, out from the capital city on roads that are somewhat comparable to log wagon roads back in America, uh, you see that it is, it is worth it uh, to see these children that are eager to have anything shared with them. Uh, all of them that accept Christ are given a New Testament like the little boy standing here in the red that I know was witness to and he was saved last night. And of course, Bibles are dispensed uh, to as many families for every family. Most of the women was four, five. We have seen some uh, come through with eight or nine children. I think Mickey Aldi said it best. Uh, I'm here because of the Lord laid a burden on my heart to serve. He said, if you do it to the least of these, my brother, and you did it to me also. So I'm here just to, to do whatever I can.